After 23 hours of deliberations, the jury in the Oklahoma City bombing case returns a verdict for Timothy McVeigh. In count one, to use a weapon of mass destruction, guilty. A little bit of a closure to, to the last two years of, of my life. They made the right decision. He was guilty. And now on to the punishment phase, and I hope he'll get the death penalty. Guilty on all 11 counts. The bottom line is that uh, my little girl's not coming back, and I have the rest of my life to deal with that. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. Timothy McVeigh, guilty. Guilty of murder, guilty of conspiracy, guilty on all 11 federal charges that he faced in the Oklahoma City bombing trial. His conviction comes a little more than two years after a massive bomb shattered the Murrah Federal Building, killing 168 people, including 19 children. It was the worst terrorist act in American history, and Timothy McVeigh could now be sentenced to death. We begin our coverage tonight with NBC's Roger O'Neill. Tom, his hands were folded, but he showed no other emotion. Timothy McVeigh, the former soldier, listening to orders, not from a commanding officer, but a higher authority, a jury of his peers guilty 11 times. It was a clean sweep by the government's team of prosecutors and outside the courthouse, several hundred people who had gathered for the verdict cheered. Minutes earlier, decorated Gulf War Army veteran Timothy McVeigh sat expressionless as he heard the judge read the jury's verdict. Guilty on all counts. Guilty of conspiracy to build a truck bomb. Guilty of building and taking that bomb to the federal building. Guilty of the destruction that killed 168 people and guilty to eight first-degree murder charges for the federal law enforcement officers who were killed. Surrounded by four marshals, McVeigh began nodding yes as each of the 12 jurors were polled and answered yes to their guilty decision. Judge Richard Mage had ordered there be no outburst in the courtroom, and there were none. But most of the three dozen or so relatives of victims and survivors cried, shook their heads yes, and quietly embraced each other. Catherine Olinez lost her father. Claude Medeiros, who was a customs agent. A lot of praying. A lot of praying. How difficult has it been these last few days? <laughs> Anxiety attacks, um, just nerves. It's like one part of this nightmare is over, but we still got a long ways to go. We had a great judge, we had a great prosecution team, and everything worked out great. The lead attorneys in the case had little to say. The court's gag order is still in effect. We're obviously very pleased with the result. We always had confidence in our evidence. Now everyone else will have confidence in the evidence in the verdict. We're ready to move on to the next stage. We have visited with Mr. McVeigh. We will be working with him tonight and tomorrow for the preparation of the second stage. The jurors will come back to court Wednesday morning to make another decision, one which may actually be harder than the first. The guilty verdict forces them to consider the death penalty for Timothy McVeigh. On the day of the bombing two years ago, President Clinton and Attorney General Janet Reno said death was a sentence the government wanted. These people are killers, and they must be treated like killers. The death penalty is available, and we will seek it. Within the next day or so, government prosecutors will show jurors this picture. Firefighter Chris Fields holding the lifeless body of Bailey Allman one year and one day old on April 19th. But it will be the home movies of Bailey's birthday party, the day before, which will drive home what was taken away by Timothy McVeigh. The government will try to show during the penalty phase of the trial, expected to take a week, that there are enough aggravating circumstances to impose the death penalty on Timothy McVeigh. Jurors went home tonight looking strained, tired. Their verdict took 23 and a half hours to reach. This single word banner headline may have said it all. Security around Timothy McVeigh was increased tonight. A statement from his family read, even though the jury has found Tim guilty, we still love him very much and intend to stand by him no matter what. 